Children family, children family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about a couple of things today. And one is big time Texas D line commit, Brandon Brown. Look, he's out of the state of Florida, man, and he's a big body, man. And once again, man, we've seen this thing over and over again the past few days after USC was able to uh, get this new coach, man, Eric Henderson. Eric Henderson is right now, he's pulling all types of strings. And I want to play something for you guys real quick before I get it going. This is an actual video that came from, uh, you know, I, I think this was the Rams. The Rams had a, uh, I'm, this is, I'm going to play the sound. Uh, I'm not going to play the actual video, but I want you guys to really hear this because right now we're witnessing something that's very, very uh, special as it relates to Eric Henderson. Um, listen to this real quick. Um, this is the ex, the ex uh, running back that used to play for UCLA and the Jacksonville Jaguars, Maurice Jones Drew, along with, um, I believe he played at Washington and he played for the Rams, uh, DeMarco Farr. These guys were talking about Eric Henderson and the significance of these guys that are now um, possibly coming to uh, to uh, Eric Henderson now. And it's, it's straight up go time, man. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Um, I think USC is absolutely – they got themselves a incredible coach. Right now, what we're witnessing right now, I don't think we even understand really how big this is. Listen to what they had to say, DeMarco Farr and Maurice Jones-Drew. This is from this exact set that you see. Listen to this. I've never said this out loud. I'm sure you've never said this. I'm happy for USC. I really am. When's the last time you've ever thought that or said that, Maurice? Never. Look, he's going to be a blank stare. Who said that? Who said, who said that I was happy for USC? No, like, I said I've never said that. I'm yeah, sure you've I'll never, never said say that. Because they took our DC and UCLA See, too. Bob, like, why I, am I happy? SC, you you got yourself a winner in dog work. And Eric Anderson, he is absolutely tremendous. So if any player, if any parent has a kid, either side of the football, and you want that kid to get better and develop, you go to SC right now. No, absolutely. You sign with that kid right now. All right. I'm going to stop it right there because that's good enough to already let you guys know that it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. He said these are two professionals. Both of these guys play in the NFL, and they both, both of them stated that, look, uh, if your son or if your son goes to you, if your son is a defensive lineman, you go play with Eric Henderson, man. It's straight up go time. So this is the kid we want to talk about. Um, his name is Brandon Baker. And he's a big time guy. He's a four star guy, um, standing at six foot one, two hundred and eighty pounds. And listen, he's a monster. He's been to LSU. He's a Texas commit right now. But you see, he's been to Tennessee. He's been to all these different schools. Um, he's taking a visit, and and the reason why is because he's a big time player. Um, as I stated, excuse me, six foot two, not six foot one, standing at six foot two, two hundred and eighty pounds, um, out of the state of Florida, M Melbourne, Florida. And right now he's rated as he's a top 300 player. Um, let me let me pause that right there, because that's the most important picture. Um, 285th player overall. He's a top 300 player. Also, number 32 D lineman in the country and number 38 player in the state of Florida. You guys already know it's the big three. Everybody knows it's the big three that which they consider um, the best, the best defensive was well, the best uh, football places to play in high school, Florida. Texas and California. Um, so this guy comes from Florida and you see coach there. Coach went to go visit him. Coach, by the way, I like that hat, man. We got that same hat. Coach got some good style, man. He's moving and grooving with it. And uh, and so look, man, we see him there already. And look, the young man is throwing up the big fight on sign. Let me see if I can scoot that camera over where you guys can see it. But the young, the young brother is putting up the fight on fight on sign. And um, I think it's straight up go time with him, man. So USC has a rare real opportunity to go ahead and get a guy like uh brandon brandon and uh I, I think that this new defensive this new defensive coach i think it's straight up go time i think he's he's swaying all types of guys right now and listen the proof is in the pudding he trained aaron donald he trained all these guys man that you that you uh that you uh know about with the los angeles rams and so now you got a guy that's going to get these young kids and be able to mentor them listen Everybody talks about the NIL aspect. But listen, when you're talking about really getting trained, NIL money, a couple hundred thousand may be able to last for just a minute. But when you're talking about actually having a guy that's really moving and grooving and really coaching these guys up and really having these guys land a big-time contract, that's what you look for. You look for a guy like 
Eric Henderson that's going to be able to have these kids, man, and be able to mentor them uh, from a father figure perspective and then be able to have that hands-on training to know how to give you guys the right technique um, and, and really know how to move and groove with your with your position, with your craft. So you guys hit me in the comment section. That's one of the things I want to talk about. Also, we want to talk about Michigan. Uh, you know, with the emergence of Michigan, um, it looks like Jim Harbaugh is out of, out of there. At the time I'm recording this right now, it looks like Jim Harbaugh could possibly be out at Michigan um, pretty soon here. It looks like a, a, an announcement may be coming. I saw several guys, several major analysts talk about it. I saw several major analysts uh, saying that, look, this is what they think is, is going to happen. And so in the event that this happens, uh, because one of the other things that I saw today um, is that uh, Michigan, Michigan may be getting penalized for some of the things that took place um, this past season. Now, um, Jim Harbaugh, I think he was trying to get immunity. He didn't want to get penalized. Uh, he wants to still get his compensation, get paid um, for, you know, if, if any type of situation were to happen uh, with Michigan, it looks like allegedly Michigan didn't give him that confirmation. As a result, it looks like, uh, look, he could possibly be out of there and maybe taking a job possibly to uh, the Chargers. Now, in the event that that happens, one of the things that I wanted to bring up real quick was this. You guys already know. Let me pull this up real quick. You guys already know this is a big time guy right here. He's out of the state of California. His name is Graham and big defensive tackle. And USC uh, missed out on him, man. Graham actually came and visit USC. Um, you guys know he bought out in the Rose Bowl. Uh, you know, he. you see the guy that he's playing against right here. His name is Proctor. Um, and he absolutely balled out against him. Proctor was kind of lost in the sauce. You guys know we were talking about Proctor as well, possibly being a transfer portal target. He ended up committing to Iowa. But but this is Graham, man. And look, lo and behold here, you see Coach Nua. Coach Nua was there on staff when they recruited him. You see him there with Graham right there. And so does USC have an opportunity here in the event? Because here's the thing that I've heard. I've heard that the defensive coordinator could possibly go with Jim Harbaugh, Harbaugh if he leaves. So that's the kind of the buzz right now. Uh, and, and we want to wait and see what happens. Listen, I, I said, I, somebody, my buddy asked me this. He said, he said, what do you think will happen with Michigan? And, and let me give you this guy, this stat real quick too. Let me pause this and I'll get back to this stat because we got to talk about this real quick as well. Uh, but in the event that this happens, uh, I think that USC can absolutely um, get some of these players. They'll have a 30 day window where they could transfer as well. And I think USC can really take advantage of, especially that guy, man. That guy, Graham, is a guy that we missed out on. You see Coach Newell was down there with him in the Southern California area. So he's very familiar with them. Now we got to coach that. Dog walk as well and Coach Newell. You couple those two together and be able to move and groove with a guy like Graham. Man, come on, man. It's straight up go time. It's on the pop and it's on the cracker. So those are the things that we want to look for. I haven't said anything's happening yet. He's not in the transfer portal. I'm just throwing some scenarios out there that could possibly happen um, in the event that this takes place because I think we're going to see a domino effect, especially if that defensive coordinator gets ready to go with Jim Harbaugh. It, they, you know, Michigan's going to be lost in the sauce. And let me let me tell you guys this as well. Everybody's pumping up Jim Harbaugh. I love Jim, Jim Harbaugh as a coach, but this is a, a pretty incredible stat um, that I wanted somebody to see, that you guys to see because uh, let me see if I can hear it is right here. Check this out. Against Ohio State, the past four coaches, this is Jim Harbaugh, three and five record, Brady Hoke, one and three, Rich Rodriguez, 0 oh and three, and then you see Lloyd Carr, six and seven. So listen, the success for Jim Harbaugh, you guys already know, has came within the past couple of years. It took Jim Harbaugh there eight years. It took him a while to get to where he had to go, and he didn't have the overnight success as some suggest and some kind of putting it out there as if he did he no overnight success for Jim Harbaugh it took him you know really essentially like five years to really get it going and in the past three years because those guys were seniors those guys were developed um he was able to win and now he's about to bounce he's about to get up out of there so look man you guys hit me in the comment section you guys tell me what you think man you guys think we'll have an opportunity in, in the event that Graham hits the transfer portal he's not in the portal yet but any event he does let me know. Hit me in the comment section. Drop those comments in there. And then uh, also, what do you guys think about 
Big Brandon Brown, man. Is it straight up go time with him or what, man? I like him. He seemed like a solid kid, man. And uh, I think USC can absolutely utilize him. I think Coach Eric Henderson will be able to mentor him. So hit me in the comments, man. Drop those comments in the comment section, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out of here, man. Until later on, listen, everybody stay blessed. Don't forget, make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen until later on. Fight on, fight on, fight on.